If you're watching this channel, chances are you like co-op gaming. The problem is there's so many games and not enough money. Luckily, I put together a list of couch co-op games that are all under $5. I've split these games up into seven categories, each with five games. So let's start with some free games. These are all on Steam. Twin Core. This is a 3D on-rails shooter that's built for co-op. I can't say enough positive about this game. I really love it. Unfortunately, it's pretty much just a one-level demo. So I would love to see this get a full release at some point. Damnosaur. It's a 2D run-and-gun co-op game where you shoot dinosaurs. It has a very positive status on Steam. The art style kind of looks low budget, but you know what? It's free, so it probably is low budget. Well, Pico Park Classic is another free game. You can play this with up to 10 friends locally. It's a 2D puzzle platformer, and the more players you add, the levels and puzzles adjust accordingly. This one's highly recommended. With You. This is another really short game. It's kind of a puzzle platformer, somewhat similar to Snipper Clips or something like that but much easier. This one's great for couples, but it is very short. Abathor, Atlantis Landing. So this one's just a demo, but it's a four player hack and slash 2D platformer. I'm not sure when the full release comes out, but it's definitely worth trying this demo. The art style is great, the gameplay is really solid, and it's four player co-op. Now let's talk about some of the games that are under $5 on Steam. Starting at 99 cents, we have Sega Genesis Classic. This includes Toe Jam and Earl, Streets of Rage 2, and Golden Axe. This has three of the all-time best co-op games. I grew up with all of these, and I think they all still hold up. Streets of Rage 2 is just one of the best games of all time. So this is a great value. Another game for 99 cents is Super Lemonade Factory. This is a 2D puzzle platformer. It has a great art style some good humor, and a little bit of a story. For the price, you can't go wrong with this one. For $1.99, we have Kin Duo. This is another 2D puzzle platformer. It has a very positive rating on Steam. You play as two elemental friends that have to solve puzzles by pushing boxes and blowing things up. This has a pretty basic pixel art style, but I actually think this one looks good. For $2.99, we have Dead Pixels. Now this one is a co-op run and gun game. I remember playing this one when it first came out. It has an 8-bit aesthetic. You and your friend, you run down the street and you shoot zombies. It's pretty fun. And for $4.99, we have Thunder Flash. This is a top-down run and gun shooter, similar to Akari Warriors or Commando. This one has a pretty nice pixel art style and it has a mostly positive rating on Steam. Next, let's talk about Game Pass. If you have Game Pass on Windows or Xbox, it's basically a subscription service similar to Netflix, but for video games. Here are five games on Game Pass that are all co-op. First, we have TMNT Shredder's Revenge. If you haven't played this game yet, you just have to jump in and try it. This game is so good, and you can play it with up to six players co-op. It's one of the best beat-em-ups of all time. I don't need to talk about it anymore. You probably know this one. Cassette Beast. This is a Pokemon clone with beautiful pixel art style, and the whole thing can be played two-player co-op. This is one of my favorite games to come out in 2023. Fable 2. Do you remember the Fable series? Well, this one came out on Xbox 360, and it has a pretty fun co-op mode. Unfortunately, though, it's not exactly equal. The second player kind of just tags along, but it's still worth trying. Halo Master Chief Collection. This is another one that's obvious. It's not a hidden gem. Everyone knows Halo, but they are great standout co-op games that everyone needs to play. And this one includes all the best games, and most of them have split screen co-op. It's a great way to try these out if you haven't done so yet. And of course, you could play one of the all-time best co-op games, It Takes Two. I don't even need to talk about this one, you probably know it. But if you haven't tried it yet, and you have Game Pass, this is the best time to do it. 
Now let's talk about some Nintendo Switch games. For $1.99, we have Doom 93. This is the original Doom game, but you could play it in four player split screen co-op. This is a great way to experience the game. Then we have four games that are all $4.99 each. Let's start with Chex Quest HD. Did you ever play Chex Quest? The original game actually came out in a box of Chex cereal. Well, this is an HD remaster. It's more of a remake. Unfortunately, you can't play through the whole story mode co-op, but there is a horde mode that you could play in co-op, and that's pretty fun with up to four players. Another $4.99 game is Gyro Boss DX. This one's pretty interesting. It's kind of a bullet hell shooter mixed with old school centipede or space invaders. You can play this one four player co-op. It has a really basic pixel art style that I love and the colors kind of remind me of the ZX Spectrum. Dumpy and Bumpy is a top-down co-op puzzle game. I don't really know how else to describe this one. You push blocks and you line up colors and you throw bombs. You gotta try this out, it's pretty solid. And for $4.99, why not? Another game I wanna briefly talk about is Space Dave. This is also $4.99. It's basically a Space Invaders clone. The gameplay looks really simple, but sometimes that's all you need. Now I wanna talk about the Nintendo Switch online games. If you have the online service, as well as some of the bonus packs, you get access to a library of classic games for NES, Super NES, Genesis, N64, Game Boy, and Game Boy Advance. So if you have this subscription, here are five classic games with co-op. River City Ransom, one of the best co-op games of all time. Probably my favorite on the NES. Go back and try this if you haven't. It's a beat em up with some really great exploration and leveling up some RPG elements. The combat's fun. I can't say enough about River City Ransom. It's one of my favorites. Wild Guns on Super Nintendo is a great cabal shooter set in the Old West. You do your best to dodge while using the cursor to shoot enemies. This is another all time classic co-op game. Gunstar Heroes is a 2D run and gun platformer on the Sega Genesis. This is one of my favorites. It's like Contra and Metal Slug, but taken up a notch. Sin and Punishment on Nintendo 64 is another Cabal shooter, but this time it's in a 3D realm. Unfortunately, you can't play this game with two characters, but there is kind of a co-op mode where one player controls the cursor and the other player controls the character. This was only ever released in Japan, so now is a great time to jump on and play it. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror on Game Boy Advance was a four-player Metroidvania game with Kirby, and now, you can finally play this game on the Nintendo Switch. It's not local though, you have to play it online. But it brings this game to a new audience, and a lot of people I think missed out on the co-op part of the game, just simply because, well, nobody had four Game Boy Advances. Now I want to talk about some PlayStation Plus Extra games, the PlayStation's version of Game Pass to some degree. First I want to talk about Chicory. This is like a Zelda clone that involves painting, and it's just really satisfying when you can fill in this colorless world. You get to draw and you get to experiment with your artistic side. The soundtrack is incredible. I love this game. Little Big Planet 3 is also available. It's a four player 2D platformer. If you love Little Big Planet or Sackboy, this is another one of those games, and it's great. Darksiders Genesis is a top-down dungeon crawler. It's very similar to Diablo. This is one that I think a lot of people missed, so jump in, try it now. Moving Out. Moving Out is very similar to Overcooked, but instead of cooking stuff together, you're working with your teammates to move furniture. This one's like Overcooked, but kind of less stressful, and it's not gonna end any relationships. The last game I wanted to briefly mention is Connect Tank. This is a game that's it's kind of like a strategy game that can be played with up to four players. I don't hear this one get mentioned a lot. It's an indie title, so it's, it's not going to be as fancy as some of the other games I mentioned, but it's just worth trying out. And I should also mention, have you ever heard of emulation? You could try every game ever for the very, very low price of free. So that's always an option as well. 
What are some other cheap co-op games that I didn't mention? I know there's a lot, but these are just a handful that I think are worth trying out. If you enjoyed this video and you love co-op games, be sure to watch our top 10 co-op games of 2022 video. And thank you for watching.